Welcome back. Chatman here with uh, more videos concerning new player introductions to Planetside 2. This are the certifications, or this is the certifications, I suppose you could say. Anyway, certifications breaking down into three sections. So you have classes, you have vehicles, and you have leadership. Let's look at the classes. Now, I'm in it as a heavy assault at the moment. And if you click on heavy assault, this will take you into all the various certifications. These are for weapons that have not yet been unlocked. And these are the various different certifications for bits and pieces. So you can see you can even certify and uh, get bits and bobs for the actual weapons that you get to start with. So let's have a look through. So this is the universal utility slot. You can see there the amount of certifications I've got is down in the bottom left hand corner. See? So that's how many I've got at the moment. And as you can see there, that's how many you need. So if you want to unlock a medical kit, this is a medical kit that everybody can use. In your case, uh, for every class can use. Sorry, not everybody else can use. You can't throw your medical kits at other people. This is primarily just for you. And enables you to create a medical kit that quickly restores a portion of health. And you can then use more certs to upgrade it so that it enables you to carry up to four medical kits. So these things all helping you to improve your survivability on the battlefield. Now, this is a restoration kit. Pretty much it does a regen as opposed to a sudden burst of power or burst of he healing power, so to speak. Let's look at the ability slot. Now, this is where you do things like nanite mesh generator. So this uh, basically produces a large shield generator around you, helps protect you, and it this certification here actually increases the regen. Now, look at that. That's only one. That's currently auto-granted, and you've only got to use one certification point. So I'm going to actually do that. This is how you do it. You literally click on that, and then you click accept. And you can see there, item unlocked, nanite mesh generator 2. Now, because I've unlocked that as an ability, I will have to customize it in my loadout, which I'll show you in a second. There's the resist shield, so it does not prevent damage as it does mitigate it. And you can then certify up that slot. Now, let's have a look at the suit slot. So this is advanced shield generators, flak armor, nano weave armor. Okay. So, as you can see, when equipped, the recharge delay for the damaged personal shield will be reduced by half a second. That will also increase. You've got an ammunition belt, which enables you to carry additional weapons, magazines for primary and sidearms. Flak armor, amount of damage received from explosions. Uh, so, obviously, if you deal with tanks a lot, very helpful to have. Grenade bandolier enables you to carry more grenades. And munitions pouch, very helpful, enables you to carry more rockets. And, of course, the Nanoweave Armor, this is very good because what it does is it actually increases your overall hit, overall hit points. And, as you can see, it's only one certification. So, uh, what I'm going to do is put that into each one of those because it's so helpful. Now, bear in mind, this is just the Heavy Assault certifications. There are certifications for each class and you will have to put certification points into every class. So... There's the grenade slot, so you've got an anti-vehicle grenade, which will essentially melt the side of the vehicle, and a concussion grenade to uh, stun people around you. You've also got utility slots, which are the wonderful C4 explosives, which you can use to blow the living snot out of everybody with. Now, the certifications for the weapons tend to differ, because what they do is they're things that you can use to bolt onto the weapon, and also to improve the general performance of the weapon. So in the case of this, you can see a flash suppressor, which will make a less visible, so you can't see the weapon. Uh, you've got a suppressor, which reduces the noise, and also means that you won't show up on the minimap when you're firing. But also there's a trade-off, so bullet velocity and effectiveness are reduced. So if we're looking at, these are the optics, so you've got a 3.4 uh, times scope, and a VMS one, so there's a hollow there, a VMS and a four times and i've gone for the reflex the one times because i do like the reflex scope i'll show you that in a second flashlight because you obviously want to illuminate dark areas but obviously a better way of saying hello i'm over here i can't think of the forward grip which helps reduce the amount that your gun rises now for the vanu it's significantly less of an issue because there's not a lot of recoil in their guns and a laser sight which helps off the hip firing which I'll explain in a second. 
So you've also then got these ones here, the secondary pistol where you can add stuff in. There's nothing you can add to these rocket launchers at the moment. So there is your certifications for the heavy assault. Now, let's look at the vehicles. So I'm going to go in and have a look at the Lightning. Now, you can see here acquisition timer. This is the time, there, every time you acquire something, you can't get another one straight away. There is an acquisition timer. And the, how long that acquisition timer lasts is depending on how many of these certifications you've used. As you can see, you can reduce it by up to 600 seconds, so you can get one pretty quickly again. However, it takes a lot of certs to get to that point. Now, also, for those of you who have station cash or money, these certifications cannot be bought. They have to be earned in-game. Certifications are important in that way. You can use money here to unlock weapons, but you cannot use certifications to unlock these kind of things here. So here's the utility slot. You've got IR smoke, very helpful. Prevents lock-on. You've got proximity radar. Obviously, you can increase the distance of that proximity radar and fire suppression systems which can help put out any fires when your tank is running into the battlefield and unfortunately takes a few shots and starts flaming so here is a nanite auto repair system helps repair your vehicle vehicle stealth makes it harder for you to be locked onto as you can see increases the lock on time by one second that's a thousand certs it's a lot but a one second lack of lock on time could be seriously impressive Reinforced top armor, reinforced side armor, and mine guard. So it reduces the damage taken from mines. Now, performance slot. Rival combat chassis. So as you can see, looking pretty good. And also there's the racer high speed chassis. Now, in the Viper, you've got all these various options. Now, these, opti these optics here and the map maximum ammo capacity, only one cert. So take out one of those and also there and then I've increased the ammo to 126 rounds so you can see it goes up and up and up and up and up and the zoom optics gives me 1.25 zoom on my weapon very helpful you can get infrared and you can get thermal and you can also increase the reload speed now the same applies to this sky guard which I unlocked this turret using uh, station cache that I've got down there. I'll show. I'll tell you about that in a second. But obviously, I use the one cert point to unlock the zoom optics and also the maximum ammo capacity. The options are there are pretty much the same. So you've got reload speed, thermal optics, all that kind of stuff. Now, if we move on to the squad leader, now these are all the kind of things that a squad leader would require. Every single one of them, you've got to be greater than rank ten to have. This, this one here is probably the most important that you should consider getting. Once you get to rank 10, that should be, if you are a squad leader or a platoon leader or an outfit leader, that should be your first purchase because that is so important, enables squad members to hop drop into the vicinity. So helpful, it is not true. So you've obviously got command channels, you've got request reinforcements, you can place markers on the continent map, somebody's probably unlocked one of those already. Squad objectives for attack and defense, you can also put rally points which come up in the form of a great big huge smoke, so it gives uh, your guys somewhere to rally to, and also it means if for what reason somebody's coming in to pick you up in a galaxy, you can do that kind of thing as well. Now, there is one other that's in here, I want to see if I can find it for you. There's the acquisition timer. There's the utility slot. This is for the Galaxy. Okay. Now, you can see all these kind of things. High G airframes, all that kind of stuff. Now, if I remember rightly, it used to be a spawn point. But I, don't, I think they have now changed that and it is no longer a spawn point. So you can see here, look, look at all this, one cert, one cert, just to increase zoom optics on your galaxy. When everything is so cheap on these vehicles, how can you not? It would be insanity not to do it. As you can see, I increased the zoom optics there as well. You've got the basilisk get the back, see one and one again. These are little things that you can do to help the people that are flying in the vehicles with you to aid you in your defense so that you actually end up getting to your objective rather than disappearing to the ground in a shower of bits and flame. Thanks for watching.